a world full of noise and chaos, we all seek peace. But true peace isn't something we find outside. It's something we create within ourselves. There's a way of thinking and living that can help us stay calm, no matter what life throws at us. This way of life isn't easy, but it's powerful. It's called Stoicism. Stoicism teaches us how to stay strong, face challenges, and keep control over ourselves. It's not about pretending that life is easy or avoiding problems. It's about dealing with reality as it is and finding strength in the process. Let's explore some learns from Stoicism that can help us keep calm in even the toughest situations. Concentrate on what's within your power. How often do we worry about things we can't change? The actions of others, the past, the future, these things pull at us, stealing our peace. But Stoicism teaches us the most important lesson. Focus only on what you can control. Epictetus, one of the great Stoic philosophers, said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Think about that. Life can throw anything at us. Failure, rejection, hardship. But how we respond is entirely up to us. When we learn to focus on our own thoughts, actions, and attitudes, we stop being at the mercy of the outside world. We stop wasting energy on things beyond our control. And in that, we find peace. It's liberating to know that no matter what happens, we always have power over our reactions. Challenges are chances for growth. How do you see your problems? As annoyances? As things to avoid? The Stoics saw something different. Marcus Aurelius wrote, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. What if we saw every obstacle as a stepping stone? Every difficulty is a lesson in disguise. Instead of running from challenges, we face them head on, knowing that they are shaping us into something stronger. Life isn't meant to be smooth. It's the hard parts that sharpen us. Each problem, each setback, is a chance to grow. When we embrace this, we no longer fear life's challenges. We start to see them as opportunities to build our resilience. Remember that life is short. We often live as though we have all the time in the world. But the Stoics were constantly aware of life's brevity. Seneca said, Let us prepare our minds as if we'd come to the very end of life. It's not about being morbid. It's about understanding that time is our most precious resource. When we remember that life is short, every moment becomes more valuable. We stop wasting time on petty worries, grudges, or distractions. Instead, we focus on what really matters our relationships, our purpose, our personal growth. Memento mori, remember you must die, is not a call to fear death, but a call to live fully. It urges us to make every day count, to live with intention, and to not let trivial concerns rob us of our precious time. Accept everything with love. Life doesn't always go according to plan. We face disappointments, losses, and setbacks. But Stoicism teaches us to embrace life exactly as it unfolds. This is the idea of amor fati, the love of fate. Marcus Aurelius encouraged us to love not only the good parts of life, but also the hardships. He said, to love only what happens, what was destined. No greater harmony. Imagine what it would be like to stop resisting what happens to us and instead accept it fully. This isn't about giving up. It's about realizing that everything we experience good or bad, is part of our unique journey. When we embrace our fate, we become unshakable. We stop wishing things were different and start working with what we have. This is where true peace comes from, accepting life as it is, not as we wish it to be. Desire less, find more. In a world that constantly tells us to want more, more money, more success, more possessions, it's easy to get caught in a never-ending chase for things we think will make us happy. But Epictetus knew better. He said, Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. What if the key to happiness isn't in getting more, but in wanting less? Stoicism teaches us to desire only what's essential and to appreciate what we already have. When we simplify our desires, we free ourselves from the trap of always needing more. Contentment isn't found in material things, but in realizing that we already have enough. 
By wanting less, we open ourselves to real happiness and inner peace. Change your perspective. Change your life. We often think that external events control our emotions, but Marcus Aurelius teaches us that it's not the events themselves, it's how we interpret them. It is all in how you perceive it, he said. This is the power of perspective. Imagine the freedom of knowing that no matter what happens, we have the power to change how we see it. A difficult situation can be seen as unfair, or it can be seen as a chance to grow. A loss can feel like a tragedy, or it can be seen as an opportunity to learn about resilience. By shifting our perspective, we change our experience of life. We no longer react automatically to what happens around us. We choose how we respond, and in doing so, we take control of our emotions. Master the virtue of patience. In a world obsessed with instant results and quick fixes, Stoicism reminds us of the virtue of patience. Seneca wrote, Time discovers truth. Change doesn't happen overnight, and the things that matter most, personal growth, relationships building something meaningful, take time. Patience isn't just about waiting. It's about enduring with grace. When we're patient, we're not in a rush for everything to be perfect. We trust that things will unfold as they should in their own time. This doesn't mean we don't act. It means we act with purpose, knowing that real progress is steady, not rushed. By practicing patience, we learn to stay calm and centered, even when life doesn't move at the speed we want. Guard your inner peace. At the heart of Stoicism is the belief that real peace comes from within. Marcus Aurelius wrote, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This is perhaps the most important lesson of all. No matter what happens around us, we are in control of how we respond. When we guard our inner peace, we stop letting the outside world dictate our emotions. The world can be chaotic, people can be difficult, circumstances can be unfair, but none of these things have the power to disturb our peace unless we let them. We become guardians of our mind, protecting our calm, and choosing not to be swayed by external events. This is the true strength of Stoicism, the ability to remain unshaken no matter what life brings. We all face moments of stress, fear, and doubt, but Stoicism gives us the tools to remain calm and strong in the face of life's challenges. These eight lessons aren't just ideas. They're practical ways to navigate the storms of life with grace and power. When we focus on what we can control, embrace challenges, accept life's twists and turns, and protect our inner peace, we become unbreakable. Stoicism isn't just a philosophy. It's a way of life. It's a path that requires courage, discipline, and a deep understanding of ourselves. But if we walk this path, we can face anything with calm, strength, and unwavering peace. If you like this video, Please subscribe the channel.